is going on YouTube, Rice or Rob? So today I uh, I actually just finished up. I didn't um, record it, but let me just give you a quick clip. So I just installed this uh, Status Racing carbon fiber and leather wheel. But yeah, that's from uh, Status Racing. Um, PJ actually uh, helped me out, gave me a great deal on it. Um, tagged his Instagram right here, that's these. But no, that is a phenomenal looking piece for the car. Um, I do have like carbon, you know, e-brake handle and uh, the pillar pieces uh, for the radio. Uh, a, B, and C pillars inside the car are all carbon as well. Cabo fiber, Cabo fiber, Cabo fiber. And to those that didn't see a Wicked Big Meat, I do officially have um, the STI suede seat bottom, and I did uh, modify the headrests to also fit. But now I have full STI gray interior, at least for the bases. Uh, I need to, I really can't do anything with the backs. Um, I think it would have to be reupholstered. But so today I just wanted to try and throw in the. Uh, the suede steering wheel into the skyline since I have all the uh, the parts. Um, I have looked up a, an install video before and I don't remember it being all that hard. So uh, I, I'm just going to start by grabbing a couple of uh, screwdrivers and um, I think that's all I need to really at least get the, uh, the steering column off. Uh, so I'll do that and then uh, be right back. Okay, let's go up here. So there's that stock wheel. Looks cool and all, it's just, uh, I have the parts. So under here, uh, we have, let's see, one, two, for that first plastic. Uh, let's see. If we have to take this piece off, then there are a couple more, and I'm almost certain that this uh, lower dash piece has to come out too, or come down. But uh, we will see. Got to take out the clock spring, which is in here. Um, I know some of the wiring goes down into there, but for now, uh, let's see. One, two, three is uh, one, two, and three is the only things we need to start with. So uh, those are all Phillips heads. Okay, so I got those three screws out of the lower plastic. Um, next step, I wanted to pop this guy out. Which I believe it just pops. Oh, pops right out. Take that clip off, which there is a little kind of a pin on it. It's kind of hard to do one hand. Oh, got it. Just gotta squeeze it. So there's my cool little steering wheel emblem. I just wanted to hang this on the wall, so. Um, one big nut to hold the wheel on. Um, and then one trick that you're gonna wanna do uh, is actually going to be to kind of like pull the wheel and uh, kind of pre-loosen it. That way when you take the nut off, you're able to take the wheel off. Um, otherwise, you know, you might end up like, you know, smoking yourself in the face with it. Um, but yeah, let me do that really quick. Okay. So, as you guys just saw, I just did that. Um, let's see if I can actually split the, uh, with my pick guy. Uh, there it is. Okay, so let's try and take this apart carefully. Full scratch. I'm gonna set you guys.
Boom. So, as you guys just saw, these guys just popped off. That exposes all of the, uh, the steering column. So, next I am going to grab my impact and I'm going to guess that's a 19. Um, and take that nut off and then we will see what we're dealing with for uh, the clock spring. Alright, got our 19. Nice and easy. Put that off to the side. Um, and then, uh, this is the part I was talking about. Let me, uh, let me just put you guys down for a second and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come pick you guys back up when I get the wheel off. Oh man, that was a lot of, uh, muscling, but. Came off. And, uh, this plug came out, but it wasn't plugged in anything, so, uh. I'm um, not sure. It might have just been a loose connection and uh, it's actually supposed to be connected in here somewhere, but I don't really care. It's gonna be a wall piece. All right, so let's get that weird wire out. All right, so the clock spring, it looks like it's attached on four bolts. Little connector over here. All right, so now I just gotta grab the short hub or the adapter piece. Don't need any of those. There's the hub, wire for the horn. Oh, wait, wire for the horn. That thing is no longer attached. I wonder if I was supposed to keep the clock spring. No, that wouldn't make sense either. No, actually, it might make sense. Fuck. Because if this goes on... Let me just, uh... Yep, I messed up. So... The clock spring actually does stay on, surprisingly. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put this back on and I'll be right back. All right, so got an eight mil for these bolts. Just gonna go around in a star pattern and tighten. Snug. Grab our hub. Okay, so that looks pretty much just like the uh, uh, the short hub did. Uh, looks like it was a hair to the right. So hopefully my wheels just turned ever so slightly. Uh, let's see. I'm not even gonna worry about the horn for now, and I'm actually gonna switch out these bolts. So, be right back. Oh! Even getting out of this thing, even full lift, it's still uh, like getting off the floor, getting up off the ground. Okay, so let's grab 
all this stuff, and then I actually have to go run inside and grab the uh, the hub off my wall because I was using it as a uh, a wall ornament. So, be right back. Boom! It is in. Try and grab this one-handed, which I can't. Boom! All the space. I don't know if this can support this wheel. <laughs> it can't. <laughs> oh well. Wide angle. Done. What's going on guys, it's Rachel Cam. I'm just filming an outro for this quick release video since there wasn't one already filmed. I wanted to plug upstairscustoms.com, that's where all of our merch is, custom tees if you want them for the Porsche apparel. Just needed to plug the merch shop for the boys, but if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, I'm going to put it at the end of the video, just in case you forget again. Anyways, have a good night guys.